This video is about an overview of metabolism. Before starting, I'd like to thank Bushra Mansur for her amazing shout out on Instagram. See, this is what I actually want from you guys. Okay, so this love and support from you guys is what I actually need uh, to make more content for you guys and help you guys uh, get good marks and achieve in med school. Okay, so please keep supporting me always and uh, can do that by telling your friends to subscribe to my channel and if I get more subscribers I'll be even more motivated to make even more good content for you guys okay so thank you so much for everything types of metabolic pathways there are three types of metabolic pathways namely catabolic pathways anabolic pathways and amphibolic pathways catabolic pathways are the ones in which that we break down of larger molecules into smaller molecules which is accompanied with release of energy Anabolic pathways are those in which there will be a forming of uh, formation of larger molecules from smaller precursor molecules in which uh, we have to supply energy for these reactions to take place. Amphibolic pathways are somewhat an interlink between the catabolic and anabolic pathways. Stages of metabolism. There are three main stages of metabolism, namely primary metabolism, secondary or intermediary metabolism, tertiary metabolism. The primary metabolism is the one in which there will be breakdown of larger molecules into the uh, smaller molecules. For example, the breakdown of proteins to amino acids is primary metabolism. The secondary metabolism or intermediate metabolism is the one in which the breakdown products of primary metabolism are being used up to, um, to produce reducing equivalents like NADH and FADH2. And the, in the tertiary metabolism, these reducing equivalents are being used up in electron transport chain to produce energy. So these are the three stages of metabolism. Now let's talk about various metabolic things which are happening in the brain. The brain requires about 10 to 20 percent of the cardiac output and that's quite huge for its normal uh, for its small size. The brain doesn't have any stored fuel so uh, the brain has to be constantly supplied with its fuel uh, which is actually glucose. In cases of anoxia where there is no, uh, where there is cut off of oxygen supply to the brain there will be production of lactate by anaerobic glycolysis and if anoxia happens there will be sudden increase in lactate production by anaerobic glycolysis to supply energy to the brain. In case of starvation the brain will have no choice because the body has run out of glucose and the brain needs energy and this energy has to be supplied by ketones. Okay? So the brain is almost exclusively supplied by glucose and in case of starvation it has to be supplied by ketones. Now let's talk about the metabolic things which are happening in the skeletal muscles. When we consume meal, uh, the glucose present in our meal is being taken up by the skeletal muscles with the help of insulin and this glucose is being stored as glycogen in the skeletal muscles. When we exercise, what happens is the fuel for the skeletal muscles is mainly supplied by fatty acids. Okay, You have to remember that the fuel, of, fuel for skeletal muscles mainly comes from fatty acids and uh, um, during starvation what happens uh, is that the, the main source of energy for skeletal muscle actually comes from uh, ketone bodies and if fatty acids are available fatty acids can also supply energy for the skeletal muscles and in addition to that you have to remember that the skeletal muscles will release an amino acid called alanin in the circulation this alanin is being taken up to the liver and the liver will produce glucose with the help of this alanin, amino, alanin which is actually an amino acid. So this process is what is actually called as gluconeogenesis. Now let's talk about uh, some of the metabolic things which are happening in the adipose tissue. The adipose tissue is actually the storehouse of energy. It stores enormous amount of energy in the form of triacylglycerol. Whenever need arises, uh, what happens is there will be action of hormone, uh, hormone sensitive lipase which is a uh, enzyme which which can break down the triacylglycerol in the adipose tissue and it can release the free fatty acids into the circulation to meet for the demands of the body. In cases of starvation, this triacylglycerol which is present in the adipose tissue is hydrolyzed and is, uh, it is being used for uh, supplying uh, free fatty acids to various organs. Now let's talk about the metabolic is happening in the liver. The liver, as you know, stores glycogen from glucose. 
and it releases its uh, fatty acids into the circulation in the form of very low density lipoprotein which is also called as VLDL. It also helps in metabolism of amino acids and it aids in detoxification of ammonia. In cases of starvation, the liver helps the body by uh, forming glucose um, by various processes like glycogenolysis and it also produces glucose by gluconeogenesis. Okay, glycogenolysis is breakdown of glycogen to produce uh, glucose, and gluconeogenesis is the process by which new glucose is formed from various precursors like amino acids. Okay, and you have you also have to remember that the liver produces ketone bodies in the cases of starvation. But the interesting fact here is that. How, even though the liver produces ketone bodies during starvation, the liver cannot take up those ketone bodies for its own energy requirements. Okay. So in starvation, uh, there are various things which happen in the body. First of all, there'll be glycogenolysis. There'll be breakdown of glycogen stored in the liver to supply the glucose for the body, and this can um, this can help the body for about 18 hours. Okay, the body will have glycogen stores to supply glucose for the body for about 18 hours sufficiently okay so this is the first thing which is going to happen in starvation and all by which gluconeogenesis takes place gluconeogenesis as you guys know is formation of new glucose um, for example uh, an example of uh, gluconeogenesis is that as i've explained in the previous slide in the, in the skeletal muscle slide the alanine amino acid which is present in the skeletal muscle is being sent to the liver and this alanine is being used up to form uh, new glucose and this is gluconeogenesis this gluconeogenesis can also take place simultaneously with glycogenolysis to supply glucose to the body and when the body runs out of glycogenolysis and gluconeogenesis it has no choice than to go to lipolysis lipolysis is the one in which there will be breakdown of triacylglycerol which is stored in adipose tissue to release free fatty acids there will be excess production of ketone bodies leading to uh, metabolic acidosis and if this acidosis is not corrected and if the starvation keeps on going the body has no choice than to die so these are the various things which happens in starvation the first step is glycogenolysis then gluconeogenesis takes place then it will be taken over by lipolysis then acidosis and if uncorrected it can lead to death this is just an introduction video for metabolism and I know that it has been uh, it's a bit boring topic and yet it is important for our exams okay so we have no choice than to study the metabolism of carbohydrates lipids and amino acids okay so now in my upcoming biochemistry lectures I'll be covering carbohydrate metabolism amino acid metabolism and lipid metabolism so you guys know actually what to do right now right so if you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon nearby so that you'll not miss out any of my upcoming videos you guys can follow me on instagram at medwits made simple one you guys can follow me on twitter you can follow my facebook page and you can check out my blog page the links of all these uh, things are actually provided in the description of this video please check it out and uh, um, if you guys uh, like my work, if you guys want me to make more videos, you can support my channel by donating on www.patreon.com slash simple So that's it for today. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching.